Amen. To God be all the glory for the things he's done. Excited to be here today. And Dr. Flynn said, if you feel nervous, look at your pastor. But I'm going to ask my pastor to stand here then because I can't be looking back to see if, uh -huh, if I'm going to get nervous. But I do honor God for the opportunity to stand here before you to be a witness to what God has done. Thanking him again, as uh, Dr. Weaver mentioned just a minute ago, the trials and the tribulations and the time that we cried and the time that we didn't do our homework on time. And then we had to cram to do all the homework. And then I had to check the homework, y'all. Uh-huh, that they had to, uh-huh, amen. So anyway, let me also thank God for Dr. Flynn, for CTS, God bless you, for all the doctors on the roster. Certainly I give honor to my pastor, who, as he said, had not it been for him, we would not be here. Is that right, Raymond Word? Amen. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, sir. And so as he's mentioned, I just want to talk briefly about uh, the signs and wonders. Can't tell you about all of them, but I have specifically uh, will mention one. Before I do that, I always like to honor my mother because she's still alive. Thank God for my mother being here. Miss Wiley, God bless you. Everywhere I am, that's where she is. And I thank God for that. And my cousin and my friend from East Carolina being here. But nevertheless, so grateful for this opportunity and uh, our students can also attest to uh, the learnings have been so substantial have been so great have increased my faith whether it's Charles and Francis Hunter saying if Charles and Francis can do it then who so can we if it's Pastor Tom Lau saying that we have to renew our mind and just do uh -huh, what we learn or whether it's Brother Torben, Lord knows, Syndergaard, who said that we have to think outside the box and we are called to be disciples. But I just want to talk about April the 2nd of this year. We had the privilege to follow our pastor down to Maryland so he can minister the word of God. And how many know that you ought to follow your pastor? And how many know I'm a minister, so every now and then I need some audience participation. So anyway, as I was saying, we went down to Maryland to be a blessing to pastor and to show those folk that we know how to uh -huh, give God glory in Enfield, North Carolina also. And so we did just that, and the man of God preached a hot word. And uh, as we are called, sometimes he calls us Levites, and that means, of course, the ministers who work the altar sometimes. And so he called us all uh, around that, and uh, I believe our ministers here and our elder and, and others are here that can attest to this. And there were people that were uh, needing us to lay hands and people uh, that needed us to, uh -huh, to uh, c come in agreement. And we were doing that. And uh, my God, we were so caught up in the spirit and God was delivering, knowing what God, uh, God knows what to do, right? And one particular incident that happened, a miracle that was right before us, this man, as Pastor had just kind of mentioned a minute ago, was in a, uh, had his walker, had not walked in quite some time that I'm aware of. And they began to pray for the man of God and begin to uh, uh, exercise their faith and begin to lay hands on this man's uh, legs. And the Bible said, you don't have to believe. I learned this in the school. You don't have to believe. But if the person who's laying hands believes for you because he or she has that much faith in God and what God is able to do, then that miracle still can happen. And so, again, they begin to lay hands on this particular gentleman. And before I knew it, this man was walking, taking steps about from about here all the way, probably about midway where that sister that walking down the aisle is. So how many know that God is so miraculous? God is so faithful. God can do anything but fail us. I don't care you haven't received your healing if you just step out and believe God for what he said God will do that thing it doesn't matter how long it's been it doesn't they don't even I feel my help coming on let me sit down glory be unto God pray my strength in the Lord <laughs> thank God 